Hello to all of my beautiful, beautiful, amazing Pisces. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, cross watchers. Thank you so much for coming to this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are going to get into a general reading for the collective sign of Pisces. This is not going to be a long reading, but we're just going to see what comes out. So I'm doing a long reading and a short reading today, okay? So you just go ahead and, and whatever reading you want to see, the short one or the long one, I'm doing both for you today, okay? All right, because I just appreciate I appreciate y'all being subscribers. I appreciate my viewers. Um, I appreciate my subscribers who always return to this channel. And I appreciate the people who hit that like, share, subscribe button. I appreciate the people who um, leave those amazing comments. I appreciate that. And the people who leave donations. Okay. All right. So I will be using the Soul's Journey Oracle deck. Uh, for the to start your reading off by James Va Pra Van Pra. Okay, all right, and then I'm going to use these tarot cards here. Let's set these aside. So let's get into a reading for my Pisces, my Mermen, my Mer Women, my productive, my pretty productive psychic. Um, Pisces, my passionate Pisces. popular Pisces too. Some of y'all are very popular. Your name stay buzzing. <laughs> All right. All right. So surrender. I can release my need to control. So this is a time right now where you may need to let something go. So let me see what that surrender card is about. Pisces surrender. Um, I can release my need to control. You need to understand that the dip, that the distinction between power and control, you have the power of internal control, but very little external control over people or situations. The majority of the external control is through the power of influence. You can lead by example. Every soul has its own unique path, and it is not your job to dictate it. Giving advice or direction is a compassionate manner in, I'm sorry, it's Giving advice or direction in a compassionate manner is the way to go. Your soul, too, has a path, and you possess the power to control it. But you must surrender the illusion that you have control over another. Remember that this is a process, and from time to time, your ego will rise up and demand that things be the way that they should be. Envision a high air balloon being loaded up with all of the things you need to control and let them ride away in the balloon. You'll be surprised to find that when you release the energy of control and accept the energy of surrender, doors will open that you need that. I'm sorry, doors will open that you never expected because you have now given the universe space in which to materialize what is needed for your highest soul growth. So there could be something in your life, Pisces, that you're really trying to control the outcome with, okay? And this is something, I don't know whether it's in a relationship, I don't know whether it's in a, um, it's something external though, whatever it is. But you are realizing you can only control you, you can't control how people see you, how they, whether they like you or not, you can't control other people's decisions in this life, things like that. People have free will, right? So this is you surrendering that and not taking on that burden of, oh, it got to be this way. It got to get another, all this external stuff, you know, you can only control how you feel inside and what's going on with you and how you react to certain situations or how you act in certain, you know, things like that. So at the bottom of the deck, we have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So something is going to change. This kind of puts me in that wheel of fortune energy here. Something is definitely going to change in your life. Um, and this is you really seeing that. Also, Pisces is connected to the sacral chakra, okay, along with Sagittarius. So those signs of Sagittarius could be significant in your life in some way. Um, this is you. And Sagittarius rules that exploration, like exploring things, new ideas, how you can do things. Also physical exploration, meaning travel, you know, 
do, doing things. So some of you all will be moving forward and expanding your mind when it comes to um, what control looks like to you. You know, when it comes to external energy, letting people make their own mistakes and fix their own mistakes. Okay. Um, leading by example. If you want something to be a certain way in your life or you want people to follow you, lead by example. Show them how the road to success, right? If they choose to follow, fine. If they don't, don't beat yourself up about it. You gave them a roadmap, right? So I see you creating some level of change in some area of your life. This could even be with your children. This could be with your family members. It could be in your community or something like that. But I do see you creating some level of change. But this change is starting from within. This is internal that you're changing. And it's going to radiate throughout your energy and to that um that atmosphere and you, you'll be in that atmosphere of uh, surrendering control and kind of letting people do things their own way how they want to do it all right let's see what else is going on here all right what my pisces asks for protection for myself as well as for my viewers for this reading may all negative low vibrational evil energy be returned to sender tenfold okay so let's get into a reading for my pisces the nine of wands so this is like that wounded warrior but this is also a person that could feel like their back is up against the wall and they have a lot to do they're taking on a lot even though they've won battles it has not been easy right so this is something life does not have to be so freaking hard doors are willing to open for you people are willing to be kind to you and do things for you but this is you realizing that you cannot control how they feel what they think how they act you can only control yourself right the emperor here so this is you there is some 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 sort of big energy here that you're going to have to um kind of interact with this could be a supervisor this could be just a bigger energy than yourself but also you're realizing the more control you have over yourself the more control you really do like the more you it, it's like almost like a letting all of this fighting go this energy go this resilient being having to be resilient in every situation and just sitting on your throne enforcing rules for yourself setting being more structured for yourself and then seeing your dreams come into manifestation and then seeing the generosity coming with the six of pentacles here right so i do see the power that you seek or the structure that you seek is within you okay Knight of Swords, you will be taking advantage of something. And I feel like you're even going to change the way that you pursue certain things in life, that you pursue certain goals in life. So this is going to bring about a collaboration here. So, you know, you don't have to be a one man show in every situation. Just set these certain rules for yourself, certain boundaries for not boundaries, but like, um, yeah, certain boundaries. Yeah, certain, you know, and stick to that, you know. Um, with that integrity, but don't let your ego get out of control. Be willing to work with people, team up with them and collaborate. Be into in that energy of learning. Good leaders know when to follow, you know. Um, the King of Cups. Something is going to heal with you with the Star card. A wish is coming true. This could be internal healing, emotional healing. This could even be a wish that you've been wanting to see happen. Things that you never thought would happen. I see you're kind of like, oh my goodness, I was wishing on that. I was hoping for that. You know, I do see you not pouring all your eggs into one basket or so to speak or pouring all your water into one lake. I see you watering a number, nurturing a number of things in your life, right? Um, multitasking, the king of swords. Some of you all may be getting a government contract in some way, um, or you may be working with government entities. This could also be something legal. I feel some, some level of generosity or good karma coming your way. You could be paying off a debt. Now, maybe this is something with the IRS or something that you, it's, it's the government contract, or you could be getting paid, um, a lump sum there could be legal paperwork that have to be signed though something is going to open up for you but it's it's connected to you surrendering and letting something go 
let's see, the two of swords. Yeah, you're not seeing how easy something can be in your life. But I feel like that the, the energy of change is around, around you. You're kind of like, damn, why do things got to go so be so hard? Um... Why do I have to fight? I feel like I got to fight for every little thing. I had to fight all my life. <laughs> You're like, no. So I feel like you've been wearing blindfolds and kind of blocked or feeling like you were blocked in some area. I feel like that energy is about to change. Yeah, something is up and down with you. But I feel like you're looking at what you can combine. what How you can make something easier. with your life or something the two of pentacles can be a very youthful energy too or maybe you look younger than what you are you could be older in age but look younger people may just feel like you're younger than what you are maybe because you go after what you want maybe you're not letting a lot keep you down some of you all are trying to balance your money you have the knight of cups coming in yeah some sort of offer is coming in this is an offer of kindness love this could be somebody who just wants to connect with you it could be in a romantic way it also could just be someone it, this is an offer coming in though and it's it's with the it's clarifying the star card that's crowning the king of cups this is a beautiful energy here for you pisces definitely i see change coming in through this reading with you but it's due to you saying I don't, i'm sick of everything being so freaking hard it's something that you were not seeing and i feel like a lot of that had to do with you trying to maybe you care too much about people how people thought of you maybe you care too much about what they were going to say or what they were going to do you realize you can't control no energies outside of you you can't control yourself people are going to do what the heck they want to do regardless of what roadmap you give them you know what they see about you, what they say, they're going to feel whatever kind of way, right? All right, so let's see. The Five of Wands here. So Pisces, with the Six of Pentacles crowning this King of Swords here, there is a lot of pettiness and competition when it comes to what is given to you. Y'all, wait till y'all see that longer reading. I feel like this is just a shorter version of the longer reading. I really do. Um, I feel like you are having to deal with a lot of pettiness. People feeling like you're being favored or you're you're being given something that they want or like you're getting favored. There's going to be a lot of like gossip and yeah, 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 this person, they're doing this for this Pisces and they're helping this Pisces and they're doing that and all this kind of stuff. But I feel like it's because you're just vibrating and being your authentic self. You may be getting a government contract that other people were competing for. Somebody, I feel like somebody is really out here saying you're being favored or you're being treated better than others. But I feel like you've paid off some karmic debt. And I feel like the karmic debt that you're paying off or some sort of debt that you're paying off, I feel like it has a lot to do with you just surrendering things, saying, I can't control anyone else, but I can control how I am. I can control what I say, what I do, how I react to certain situations, how I think, the energy I'm around, what I absorb. You can control that and you're realizing that you're taking your power back. And this is what's attracting a lot of good energy, but it's also attracting jealousy. People who are petty and jealous of the fact that you're being given something. People are being generous to you and kind to you. This could be a government agency or just somebody in some level of power that's being kind to you. The King of Swords can be a thinker, an analytical person, somebody who does things by the book. They're very structured. And I feel like this is what people are complaining about, that someone favors you. The gods favor you. Somebody really favors you, but it's because they see how you are not um, doing something in a way where you are doing it with malicious intent, you just realize that if somebody wants to do something kind for you, they are. If they don't, they don't. They, It's nothing that, you know, you can do to control that. Wow, the four of wands. Let's speak of stability. Some of you all uh, may be moving in together with somebody or there could be some sort of celebration. It could be around like a family event or some sort of just like really fun event. I feel some good things happening for you, Pisces. And it's all connected to surrendering your need. You, you can release the need to control things, how people act, what they behave like. You can control how you act. 
And this is helping you grow and evolve. Because you realize nothing can change without movement. You're moving forward past what you cannot control. You're moving into, I feel like you're moving, you're changing, moving into some level of stability, teamwork, working together with somebody, possibly getting married, or this could be it's some sort of celebration you're moving into, but it's starting with surrender. Okay, that's the end of your reading, Pisces. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This isn't a long reading. Um, it's under 20 minutes, under 16 minutes. Okay, I'm sending you all so much love and light. Thank you so much for loving me back. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And please go over to my other channel, Star Spawn, support that channel as well. I love you, Pisces. I love you, Pisces. I love you, Pisces. I love you, Cross Watchers. I love you, Cross Watchers. I love you, Cross Watchers. Thank you to everybody who supports this channel in every way. And I will talk with you amazing people another time.